Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Cindy, if you're new here, welcome, welcome. I'm gonna show you how I personally make my Bulletproof coffee. It is fulfilling, it is yummy, and it's a good way to get your fats in. If you are struggling on keto with getting the fats that you need in per day, try the Bulletproof coffee. If you're a coffee drinker, it is fabulous. So you can really control how much fat you want in your bulletproof coffee i've seen people that really they go extreme they're all in okay they put all kinds of fat in their coffee and then there's some not so much so for me i'm kind of in between i think it's just depending on the day and what i'm tracking what is my goal for that day or week or whatever um as far as my fat macros okay i have been lowering my fat a little bit more so now when i first started keto i put tons of fat in my coffee. I had coconut oil and I had butter in there as well. And that's pretty high fat, plus counting the heavy cream as well. So, but I needed a lot of fat when I first started keto to get my body um, used to, you know, burning fat and not carbs and getting my body into ketosis faster. So, but once you are, um, what's the word? A fat adapted <laughs> once you're fat adapted and you've been on keto you can actually start lowering your fat intake like you don't have to be like precise like this is how much fat I need per day and I need to hit my fat macros um, so if you're on keto because you're wanting to lose weight um, I don't know about you but I've got plenty of fat on my body for it to you know burn you know <laughs> so if I put too much fat in my day then it's going to be burning the fat that I'm consuming and I want it to burn the fat that's already lingering. Get what I'm saying? Get it? <laughs> so um, if you don't know much about keto, I will link Dr. Berg, um, his YouTube channel below so you can go check him out. Dr. Berg is fantastic and he can tell you all the medical terms and how keto works and fat and carbs and all that stuff so definitely do your own research i'm not a nutritionist i'm not a medical doctor i am none of those things so do your own research and yeah there you go okay so let's talk about my coffee <laughs> i'm gonna show you everything that i put in my coffee so obviously a must is some heavy whipping cream necessary i actually also put himalayan salt in my coffee you guys so with keto you need to make sure that your sodium is up your electrolytes all that good stuff so i do put some himalayan salt and pink himalayan salt in my coffee you don't taste you don't taste it it doesn't taste sal salty or anything if anything i find it to enhance the flavor um that i put in it the syrup that i put which i'm going to show you guys but yeah so i put some of this in there I use every single day the coconut oil. I love the coconut oil. I don't find that you taste the coconut. I mean, I'm a coconut lover, so um, it's all depending on your taste. But this is the one I get. I actually get this one from Aldi's. This is like the best price that I have that I have found. Um, it's like four and some change at Aldi's. That's what it looks like. And it is unrefined, cold pressed. So that's really important. You want unrefined and you want cold pressed coconut oil. So I got that. And another option, if you're not a coconut person, okay, I know some people like that. They're not into coconut at all. Um, this is another great alternative, it's, which is ghee. Ghee? Ghee? Yeah, ghee. <laughs> so... Um, this is great. Um, this I also get from Aldi's. Another great price. It's a little, I think it's like maybe a dollar or two more than the coconut oil at Aldi's. But it's really, really great stuff. And um, let me see. This one has 14 grams of fat. And I think the coconut oil is the same, if I'm not mistaken. Where are you? Where is it? 14 grams. Yeah. So, win-win whichever way you want to go. Um, if you're needing more fat in your macros that day or whatever, you can put both. I've done it. <laughs> you can put both. If the ghee is just not something you want to spend that extra money on, I mean, it's great butter. 
that's what it is, it's clarified butter, if you didn't know. I didn't know what, what ghee was before keto, to be honest with you. And it's clarified butter, it's gluten, free of gluten, lactose, and all that stuff. And another option as well, which I did not grab, but I will grab for you. Oh, I have it in a in a Ziploc, okay? I'm not weird. But um, this is the Irish butter. Is it backwards? Um, I can't see. Okay. The Irish butter, this is um, Aldi's form of Kerrygold. <laughs> like, well, um, so this is just like Kerrygold butter. I don't find a different in taste or anything like that. It's actually a little bit cheaper. So if you shop at Aldi's, look for this butter. The Irish butter is just like the Kerrygold butter. Um, and that's another thing that you can put. I used to put a tablespoon of this in my coffee before I got the ghee. So it's whichever. Honestly, there's different options and different ways that you can make your Bulletproof coffee and have it to what tastes best for you. Okay. So, and the next thing that I, I put in my coffee is the Jordan Skinny Syrups. Oh, you guys, this stuff is so good. It is so good. So this one I have is vanilla almond. I actually have a few of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have to get through some of this stuff. Like I've got um, pumpkin caramel, another good, like they're, they are delicious, you guys. Like I don't want to have my coffee without it. There could be a lot of people that says different things about this. Is it dirty keto? Is it clean keto? I mean, I find it okay. It doesn't do anything to my blood sugar or anything like that. It's got zero carbs, zero sugars, no added sugars, nothing like that. So I love putting this in my coffee. So I put about a tablespoon of this, which I'll tell you what the amounts. I'll actually show you how much of everything I put um, because, yeah, fabulous. I put this in there. They've got a bunch of flavor. The next thing that I use always is my collagen you guys so make sure you can see that i see there's a glare there it is um but it's physician's choice collagen peptides um, i got this off of amazon there was a lot of really great reviews on this uh, when i first started using collagen i was just trying different ones from like walmart and to be honest with you like mm, you know this has been great and it actually lasts um, a lot longer so I will link this below from Amazon if you're interested in this collagen if you're looking for a collagen but read the reviews on there check it out read the description on Amazon and you know see if it's something that you would like but so far so good we'll see okay I know there's a lot there's just so much collagen and you're like which one am I supposed to drink you know so it's just trying and seeing find what's best for you let's get down to the showing you how I put this together okay so I'm gonna see how I could put my camera I don't know this is actually from my ninja this is my ninja blender cup and I like using it for my coffee I'm not really sure why I, I don't know I just feel like I have more room <laughs> for everything and um, yeah so that is my that is my coffee my coffee cup don't judge me okay I like it it's big Okay, so the first thing I do is I go ahead and put my collagen in here. So let's open this up. Can you guys? It's so weird. I felt like, you know. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Can I edit that out? <laughs> oh, goodness. You know, I really hate editing, you guys. Sometimes, like, I feel like um, I did Facebook Lives all, all the time. And, you know. I like the live stuff, you know, like keeping it real. <laughs> so, hello, hello guys, hello. So I'm gonna put my scoop, it comes with a scooper. So one leveled scoop of my collagen. Yum, yum. You don't taste it, you guys, you really don't taste it. Himalayan salt. And I don't know how to tell you how much to put of that, to be honest with you. Let me see see the white powder I just can you guys see that I put a decent amount I mean really I'm showing you guys like if you can tell how much of salt I have in there just put salt to to your liking is what I would I say I forgot one of the most important ingredients hello 
right here. Yes, this is what I use to sweeten my coffee besides the skinny syrups. Um, I use two packets. So this is the pure, how do you, how do you say that? Pure, P, pure, or maybe you just say it pure, right? But then it's got that Y, so it throws me off. So I'm like, pure. <laughs> okay, this is organic stevia. I get this from Walmart. Um, I usually don't get the packets because I'm trying to be on a budget here, but you know. Um, my mom gave me this box, so why not, right? So, but pure, I do like. Actually, I get the bag of pure versus the, um, I used to use Swerve which is a sugar substitute for us on keto. I found that the bag of, of the Pure is actually like a, like a dollar cheaper or something at Walmart. So I switched and got that, but you can get a whole bag of it instead of the individual packets, which you know you pay for packaging, you pay for convenience. So if you're trying to be on a budget like I am, I would say go for the bag and not the individual packets, but Sometimes I do need to keep this on hand because my husband does travel for work and sometimes I go with him and this obviously is convenient. So, so I use two packets. Now I am going to be putting my fat, okay? Which makes a bulletproof coffee, a bulletproof coffee. So um, like I said, you can use either or, you can use both. It's all depending on your macros, macros, macros what you want to reach each day on your fat. So if you feel like you don't eat enough fat in your meals, this is a good substitute and you can put both, you can put more in your coffee, however you wanna go. So I'm just gonna use coconut oil. No, I'm gonna use ghee today. No, I'm gonna use coconut oil. No, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna live it up a little bit. I am gonna put some ghee in my coffee today, but mostly every day, you guys, I use coconut oil, whatever whatever you want, okay? I'm just getting my healthy fats in. That's what's important. I use one tablespoon for either oil, for the ghee or the butter, whatever, okay? One one tablespoon. Um, if I was going, if I was using the block butter, the Kerrygold butter or that or Irish butter from Aldi's, I will do two, one tablespoon of that as well. So, mm, if you've never seen ghee before, I look at that stuff. Interesting. It's kind of gross, but you know, it's good. <laughs> Looks gross, but it's good. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Yeah, I said that, two tablespoons. I know for some coffee drinkers and stuff, they're like just a splash of heavy cream. No, not me. I like my heavy cream and I put two tablespoons, okay? Because why not? Why not? And then I put one tablespoon of skinny syrup. Don't judge me for that either, but I do. Yeah, about one tablespoon. It just tastes so good. I've got everything in here. Yeah, it doesn't look pretty. It doesn't look pretty, does it? Okay, so we're gonna come right over here. Ooh, can you guys see? Oh no, hello, okay. <gasps> Hi. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is my coffee machine. Oh, can't see, right? Here we go. My cheap. I'm not even sure what this brand is, but I already have my coffee in there and my water in there. I'm, I don't even know what this is, you guys. Honestly, we got it from Walmart. It was on sale. It's like whatever. It does the job. This. It is coming out. I let the glass of it drip. Oh my gosh, look at this lighting because of my candle on my stove. Hello. Look at this light shining. Hi. No, just kidding. Stop. Stop. Okay. I'm really excited about my coffee. All right. I'm just, I'm really excited about my coffee. Okay. Oh, look. My, the pictures are on the camera. There goes my family. You guys haven't seen them yet on video. There's, this is an old picture, okay? There's my hubby. There's my son, he's my oldest. They were so little here. It's one of our favorite pictures. Um, and then me over there. <laughs> There's my baby girl. So my son is now 14 and my daughter is 11. <laughs> they grow so now, fast. Now, final step you guys is I use this frother. Um, got it from Amazon. You can get, use any frother, it's nothing special. And we're gonna mix this. Oh, I wish I'd show you guys why I put my camera up get back down here 
Can you see? There we go. Yeah. So I just start mixing it in there. And if I found if you don't do this, if you're putting oil in your coffee, um, you definitely want to use some type of mixer or frother or something like that. You guys can't see me. Hello. <laughs> um, you want to use some type of frother or something or mixer. Mix your coffee because the oil will sit at the top and you don't want that because you're drinking straight oil when you first we're gonna froth this bad boy going higher up with it Yummy. this makes me so happy <laughs> oh goodness there it is there is my yummy bulletproof coffee it is delicious if you have any questions let me know down let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. It will help me out so, so, so much. And um, please subscribe to my channel. Continue to follow. We're just getting started with the videos and um, I'm gonna be sharing what I eat in a day, that kind of stuff. So if you're on a journey, on a similar health journey, or you just wanna follow just for fun, then you know, follow me, I will love it. So join me, um, follow me on Instagram. All that information is down in the description of this video. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I'm going to go and drink my coffee now. So I will see you guys soon. Bye. Let me put you back up here. Don't fall. There we go. Oh, sorry. My hand in your face. My bad. Okay. Um. Dang. What the flip? I'm a mess. I really am a mess. I'm so sorry. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, what was I saying? Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I lose my train of thought.